what's going on guys so as you can see we got the moose thing back up on the, the ramps um got to adjust the the left side's like perfect the right side i've got to adjust some i couldn't i just i ran out of time last night and i just couldn't do it um this is a pole so yeah um sorry about that but i've got you propped up on the steps um we're going to talk about the exhaust so um the reason i went with the borla s type if you didn't understand from my last video, is because, um, well, I'll just go ahead and say it. We've got some long tubes coming for the car. So we're gonna be, for one, having full length, one and seven eighth inch headers. And we're also going to have the cats gone. Uh, we're not going with any high flow cats. We're not keeping the cats, they're gone. Uh, that's really the only reason I'm doing headers. Um, you know the extra power hey why not I'm happy with it so you know definitely that's a good part of it but it's mainly to get rid of the cats um, and I just I, I think they sound a lot better with the cats gone with the right exhaust of course um, they pop a lot more they just they have a lot more attitude to them when they don't have the cats on them um, so my options were basically I was really choosing between Roush and Corsa, Corsa Extreme, or just the Roush Axleback. Had Roush from an old car, absolutely loved it. However, they do sound a little different on the S550s for some reason. Um, it's probably just because the exhaust systems are different, set up and everything. Um, but, um, yeah. But from all the videos I've heard and everything, you know, the, the Roush, they get super, super raspy, which in certain cases sounds freaking awesome. But sometimes it's just like, just not even V8-ish. Uh, maybe it's just videos. I've not heard one with long tubes and Roush on it in person. Um, so I can't say for sure. Uh, like Dylan's car, he's got a uh, 2011 or 12, and uh, he's got an off-road X-pipe, no resonators, and Roush. It sounds really good. It is a little much sometimes. Um, I didn't want to get so loud that I didn't feel like you know romping on it and stuff just because it's you know gonna deafen the world or you know attract cops from the next county over so that's why I kind of decided against the Roush um, courses extremes they're really really expensive I'm not gonna lie I don't feel like spending um, $1,600 for you know a cat back I just that's just that's too much like that's insane like it you know if <laughs> If I made enough on YouTube to pay for it, then sure. But I don't. Um, I've got plenty of other things to pay for. Um, I do work a full-time job. I don't want to spend all my money on a $2,000 cat back. All right. So now the Borla. I'm not gonna lie. The Borla. They were very expensive as well. Um, but I didn't. Want, and I also had the option of the Borla Attack. But you know, it was kind of the same as the others. Um, if I'm gonna go loud, I'm just gonna throw the Roush on there. Um, they're the cheapest choice of them all. Um, I could have just tried them first, um, but I really just didn't want to. And I was going to do the long tubes and have the um, muffler deletes on there just to see how it sounds, but I knew it would be way too freaking loud. And um, so I figured it'd be better to put the mufflers on first so it's quieter, and then you put the long tubes on so it's louder. So you don't, you know, because like, I'm not going to lie, as the car sits, I'm not completely happy with it because it is a lot quieter than I would like. It's a lot quieter than it was. Um, that being said, I do believe when we get the long tubes on there with no cats, it's gonna it's gonna really make it scream. Um, you know, worst case scenario, if it doesn't and I don't like it, I can just pull the, the mufflers off. You know, I they're in pristine condition. I <clears throat> made sure when installing them, not to scratch them up or anything like that. So I feel very confident. If I don't like them, I can I can resell them for nearly full price. To someone that um, wants, a, a, you know, not a super loud exhaust, or even trade them, you know, my, my, someone with Roush that wants quieter, I might trade them. They pay me some cash, you know, see how we go. Obviously, all the videos I make on the Borla will help put for in, uh, put money into them so that I don't actually have that much into them. I guess that's one way of looking at them. I wanted to give the S Type a try. Um, I've never really been a huge Borla fan, honestly, but. Um, yeah, I just you know I really do love the way it looks. It looks freaking great with those four-inch chrome tips, 
the uh, mufflers are nice and hidden under there. They're not hanging down or anything like some of them do. Um, so yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm sure the way that I've edited this, this is at the end of the video. So as you can hear, it does sound good. I'm not, I mean, it, there's no way it doesn't sound good. It's just pretty quiet. And that's just coming from me to somebody else. It might be really loud. It's not loud at all on idle. And what I'm really missing is the loud cold start, um, which that's, you know, you got two different spectrums, like the Roush, when they, you do a cold start with a Roush with no cats and no resonators, stuff like that. Like, it's a little, it's, it's kind of extreme. It gets real choppy, um, kind of clappy sounding. Um, so I'm not sure if I want that kind of cold start, but I do like, you know, a real loud cold start. Um, whereas this, you know, it just has that mellow tone when you cold start it or just when you start it period when it's idling, you know, it's got a nice deep sound to it. Um, I did drive it, you know, some last night when you rev it, um, I'd say it's pretty quiet up until about 3000 and then it starts getting considerably louder. Um, sounds good. It's just not as loud as I would like. Um, while driving it, it's it's pretty tame. Um, you know, I'm sure from the back when I'm, you know, I got on it a couple times. You definitely hear it. It's it's definitely there. Uh, it's not anything like a, a you know a muffler delete. Um, and outside, I'm sure it sounds amazing. We have really bad weather right now. Uh, it's been raining all day, um, and obviously when I get off work, it's already dark, so I can't really make videos that I would like to. But. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, when, you know when you're driving it, like I said, it probably sounds amazing outside, which I'm gonna make some videos on it, a full in-depth exhaust video on it. So this is not the full review, this is not the full um, exhaust clips. This is just initial first impressions of the exhaust. And uh, you hear that? That's a little critter going up the steps. Um, but when you're getting on it and stuff, you know, when you're driving normal, which I want, I want it to be loud when just driving. Like I don't want to have to floor it to make it loud. Um, you know, I want it to, you know, attract attention. Not really as much attract attention, but I want to be able to really hear it when I'm not romping on it. You know, I want to hear it all the time. Whereas now, in its current state, you know, it's got a, just a kind of a mellow V8 growl to it. Nothing too much. Um, but it's it's just not quite enough for what I personally like. Um, and like I said, I'm very curious to hear some, get some exhaust clips on the outside to see exactly how it sounds from the outside. Critter, chill out, dude. But, uh, yeah, so, eh, I'm kind of iffy, you know, of course, I'm definitely not going to take them off and sell them or anything like that until after the long tubes, because I am pretty, uh, pretty confident that getting rid of the cats on top of having long tubes is really going to produce a lot more sound. And... Like I said, the reason why I got these to begin with, I knew they were going to be quieter, um, was for the deeper sound. I want the loudness, but I want deeper. I don't want super high pitch, which is, you know, kind of what the Roush brings once you start, you know, down the long tubes, no cat's road, um, no resonator. So, we'll see. Um, like I said, I'm definitely going to keep them on there until we do the long tubes. There's a week or two. It said should sh they would ship in one to two weeks. It's been over a week now, so fingers crossed they ship at the end of this week. That would be really cool. I'm not gonna be able, even if I got them, you know, to today, tomorrow. I would. I'm not gonna be able to install them this weekend, but you know, potentially I, next week, working on them after I get home from work, I I might be able to knock it out. You know. I don't even know, the header install, I, I've been terrified to do it on uh, any of my Coyote cars. Of course, this is the only one that I've had to do it in order to delete the cats. But, um, you know, everyone says it's extreme pain in the butt. It's like takes literally like 10 hours sometimes to do it. Uh, it's obviously a lot easier on jack stands, but as you can see, this is how we do it around here. Um, I have no access to a lift. Um, I'm not going to go, there's not a reputable shop that I feel safe with taking my car to to go get headers installed plus I do believe I can do it I've installed everything on all my cars that I've ever done even the airlift on my last car or my last Mustang I did that it was very time-consuming but I did it by myself and I eventually got it done uh, you know like similar to what I was saying a couple you know nights after work and everything um, so we're definitely gonna wait 
to, to make any final decision until after the headers. Um, and we'll fingers crossed that it is, you know, it produces the sound that I'm after. If not, we'll go another route. Um, you know, y'all are win-win. You, you get to hear what um, Borla sounds like with a Resonator Delete, then you're gonna get to hear what it sounds like with headers. And um, then if that doesn't work out, then you'll get to hear it with something else. So, you know, more video content for y'all one way or another. But uh, yeah, so we'll just, I guess that's it. I just, you know, I do like it. Like I said, it looks amazing. Just not loud enough for me. Um, but we're gonna wait till the headers get on there and then um, then we'll make our final verdict. But um, I'm filming this on Wednesday. Um, Y'all actually have the first install video coming out tonight. So then I might post this either tomorrow night or Friday night. Not sure which. Um, I don't know, but um, yeah, so we'll see. Hopefully this weekend I can get it out and do some full exterior, you know, good exhaust shots, you know, doing some wide open throttles, doing some better revs, doing some who knows what, everything, inside, outside, the whole nine yards. Hopefully we'll get that done this weekend. But um, yeah, so y'all let me know just off the few crank up and a few revs that you heard. Um, let me know what y'all think. Um, if y'all have any recommendations of what we should try if these don't work out. Like I said, fingers crossed that they do, but who knows. And you know, they are mufflers, so obviously they're gonna get louder the more they get broken in. So the more miles I put on it, it should get louder as well. So these are fresh, just installed mufflers. They probably have 10 miles on them. So they're at the quietest that they'll ever be and um yeah so y'all look forward to the next coming up videos hopefully y'all do enjoy all these exhaust videos and stuff i know i've rambled on for nearly 12 1201 so yes 12 minutes now um if you're still watching this i do appreciate it i'm glad you enjoy me rambling enough to uh you know to keep watching uh y'all let me know what y'all want to see anything you know leave a comment whatever you feel like leave a like um, be sure to subscribe if you uh, you know you want to see more of the Mustang, the Hellcat, whatever. You know, just let me know, and uh, hopefully y'all stick around, and uh, we'll have plenty more videos. So, until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.